In this video, I'm gonna be giving you seven reasons why introverts can be insanely attractive. Would you say being introverted is a red flag or a green flag? A green flag. Have you ever dated a guy who's like really introverted or like kind of nerdy? Yes. And how was that? I like it. Yeah. Because I'm an introverted nerd. Have you dated mostly extroverts or introverts, do you think? Um, probably introverts. Now dated that I mostly think about introverts? Yeah. People watching this are going to think, hey, Lloyd, how can introverts be attractive? There's no way. Well, just watch the video and I'll prove it to you, okay? Because I myself am a natural introvert learned extrovert. A lot of my clients are introverts as well too. And if they do these things correctly, they become extremely attractive to women. Each introvert who's watching this video, you have these things innately within you that you can exercise, okay? You have an innate advantage over extroverted people if you do these things. The problem is that most introverts don't recognize that. A lot of introverts think that they're just not very attractive, okay? Um, now, when I mean introverts, I mean someone who recharges by being alone. It doesn't mean that introverts can't be social. It doesn't mean that they can't interact with people. In fact, I think they can do a very good job of doing that, which is what I'll outline in this video. But it does mean that they will need recharge time. Whereas extroverted people, they recharge by being with others. Let's start off the video with thing number one, which is going to be that introverts tend to be more successful than extroverts do. Okay. And, and women actually know this. So if you look at the richest people in the world, they're almost all introverts. And the reason why is because they spent a lot of time doing deep work by themselves. You see, introverts are very intellectual creatures and your intellectual ability matters a lot more in today's society than it did in the past. So if you look at all of those people like Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, all of those people, they were introverts and that's how they built up their net worth. Okay, now obviously they probably do a lot of business. They have to do, be more extroverted. Uh, but at the beginning, almost always introverts. And women recognize this, okay? But maybe at first they might might date a bad boy or two when they're, you know, in high school or in college and stuff like that. But as they start to get older, typically around the age of 25, that's when they really start to realize that introverted guys are a lot smarter, more successful, and they start going for them a lot more. You see a lot of my female friends, they've talked about this amongst themselves. They can recognize when a guy is being successful and they start to go for them more. Number two, introverts are great listeners, okay? If you're an introvert, it probably means you're good at listening, okay? Introverts love hearing about other people because it takes the pressure off them from having to talk so much. Extroverted people love to hear the sound of their own voice. They love to talk all the time, and that can be kind of annoying for a lot of people. You see, listening is the most important skill in conversation. If you can listen to somebody very well, then that means you can make them feel very good. Their thoughts and opinions matter, and you can respond accordingly. One thing that introverts need to learn how to do in this category, though, is they need to learn how to not get so tired by listening to people, okay? This typically requires them to figure out ways to make the conversation more fun for them, get more familiar, or figure Figure out ways to engineer an environment with people that they are more likely to want to talk with. I find that introverted people don't need to recharge as much if they are around people they actually like. Number three is that a lot of women are introverts themselves. People like to date people like them. I know so many women who are absolutely drop dead gorgeous who are introverts. They stay indoors a lot. In fact, a lot of the Instagram people that are famous social media influencers a lot of those people, they're introverted too. You know, they just pretend like they're extroverted on their accounts and stuff. Not saying that those people are good to date, but you know, if you don't think that introverted women are hot, like you're sorely mistaken. There's so many hot introverted women out there, okay? And they like to date other introverts because people like to date people like them, okay? So I talk to people all the time and I ask them like, you know, are you looking for an extroverted or more introverted guy? Most of them say introverted because they're the same way too. They don't want a guy who's going out and partying all the time. They want a guy who likes to stay indoors with them. They want a guy who likes to do the nerdy activity that they like to do. They like a guy who can give them space every now and then, right? So these are all things that are super important to women. And they're things that extroverted guys are not perceived as to be as successful at as introverted guys are. That's you. Number four is that introverts tend to stay composed. I see a lot of introverted guys, especially when crazy things happen, they kind of have, their expression doesn't really change that much. Now, for some of them, it just means that they're incapable of showing their emotions in social situations, but they end up looking pretty composed. <laughs> they end up looking pretty calm and confident. Uh, that actually is insanely attractive to a lot of women, okay? Introverts tend to, you know, be able to keep things indoors a little bit in terms of their emotions, where extroverted people feel the need to express them all the time. 
And so with that, that means that they come off as a lot more confident in tough situations. And this is extremely important for guys because as guys, you know, we're seen as kind of more stoic and women tend to be more attracted to that kind of guy who can handle situations like that. And they don't burden people with their emotions as well too. You know, as extroverted people, uh, they tend to feel the need to unload. Like if they feel angry or if they feel sad, you know, they tend to express that to people. Um, with introverts, they tend to be a little bit more conscious of how the other person might feel. Introverts are insanely analytical. So this relates to my first one, which is that introverts are tend to be more successful, okay? Introverts tend to be very analytical. That's probably why a lot of introverts watch my content. A lot of introverts are coached by me. It's because when they want to learn dating, they want to become an expert. They want to learn everything that's associated with it, how to be most successful, right? That's part of what makes them great is that when they're talking about a subject that they like, they can talk for days about it, okay? They get really into the weeds with it. For me, if I like a subject or a TV show or a book or anything, I'm going to learn everything about it. Like I'm really into like Game of Thrones and that House of the Dragon show. Dude, I know everything about George R.R. Martin's universe, okay? If you ask me a question, I probably know it, okay? And that's part of my introverted nature is when I find someone who appreciates those subjects, I can talk for hours about it. If someone wants me to research something, I'll know everything about it. Introverts tend to be very, very good at this. And as a result, they tend to be smarter in certain areas than extroverted people are. And if you look at what women are into, women love smart guys. If you look at any woman and ask them, what are the top three qualities they're looking for in a guy? Intelligence is going to be up there unless they themselves aren't very intelligent. So by you making yourself more intelligent, by your analytical nature, you are making yourself more attractive to women. You just got to learn how to be able to show that off. Number six, introverts can be great conversationalists. Because introverts are great listeners, because introverts can be very intelligent, they can come off as extremely great conversationalists. They can talk about subjects for hours. They can make the other person feel really listened to, uh, really important, make sure that their thoughts and feelings matter. Okay, These are all extremely good conversational skills. The only thing that I think introverts really lack when it comes to this is they tend to overthink and they tend to get super anxious when it comes to the conversation. But if they are able to overcome those things, they can be some of the best conversationalists I know. Oh, and the other thing is, you know, needing to recharge after the conversation. If they can reduce those things, then they can be extremely charismatic. The most charismatic in what I've seen. Number seven is that introverts are selective, okay? They're not just at the whim of society. They don't just like things because other people like them. They are unique. They really do have preferences. They really do have things that they obsess over, okay? They're interesting people. That's one of the things that I love about my girlfriend, and that's one of the things she loves about me, is we don't just go and like things because everybody else likes them. We like them because we pick them, you know? So I really like things because I like them, and that makes me more interesting than maybe your average person who just listens to like top 40 songs goes to parties because other people like to go to them. I like to do the things that I like to do. And that's what makes people interesting. And introverts are the same way. You know, they're the kinds of people that have interests that are unique, but the only thing that they need to do is be able to show these interests to people, to show how unique they are. They are amazing people. The problem is they just don't know how to market that. But once they solve that, there is a lot to learn and a lot more to appreciate once this is done. So those are the seven things. Now you're probably wondering, Lloyd, this is great. I know what makes introverts so attractive, but I don't know how to use these things. I don't know how to actually get a woman attracted to me. That's why I have a full hour long training for introverted guys between the ages of 25 to 35. So if you're an introverted guy between the ages of 25 to 35, watch my free hour long video. It's on YouTube. All you have to do is click the link down below. It's a full hour long video and it'll tell you exactly how to be the most attractive version of yourself, but you gotta watch the whole thing, okay? So if you're committed to improving on this, highly recommend that you watch that video. Thank you so much for watching you guys. Good luck out there.